Hey Boilermakers! Welcome to our engineering building tour video. Hope you guys enjoy! Hi, I'm Zoe, I'm a freshman in electrical engineering. And I'm Ellie, and I'm a freshman in first year engineering. And today, Ellie's going to be showing me around Lambertus and Dudley, the first year engineering building. So, let's go! Down this hallway is the home of the Women in Engineering program. Here, there's five adults working full time to make sure that women are successful in their engineering classes. Feel free to stop by any time when you're a student or when you're visiting to ask any questions. Can you tell me a little bit about the space behind us? Yeah, this is the Build at Scale lab used by the Industrial Engineering program. I really like walking past it because I get to see upperclassmen working on their projects. Where are we standing now? So this is the First Year Engineering Advising Center. You meet with your advisor to pick classes for your fall and spring semester of your freshman year, and then after you transition to major, you get paired with your new advisor within the School of Engineering that you picked. Can you tell us a little bit about the classroom behind us? Yeah, so this is one of the first year engineering classes. It's home to Engineering 131 and Engineering 132. These classes are super collaborative as you're placed in groups of four and you have to complete hands-on projects with each other. You learn skills in Microsoft Excel and MATLAB. Our most recent project was being tasked with coding Wordle in MATLAB. Thank you so much for showing me around today. Yeah, of course. Hello everyone, I'm Mallory. I'm a freshman in first year engineering. And hi everyone, I'm Alina and I'm a senior in civil engineering. And today we're going to take a tour of Hampton Hall. It's home to both civil engineering and construction engineering. Follow us along. Let's go. So can you tell us a little bit more about Wood Commons? Yeah, Wood Commons is a great spot to hang out, do some homework, study a little bit, got a lot of natural light, as well as civil engineering often brings in companies to come hang out and talk to students, potentially take resumes, as well as our Civil Engineering Student Advisory Council will do bagel breakfast a lot of times in the morning. That's awesome, I love bagels. Me too. <laughs> so can you tell me about the Success Center? Yeah, the Student Success Center is a great spot to kind of do homework, work together. A lot of times I see a lot of my friends from all my classes and it's not necessarily a quiet study spot, but it's a good place to get work done and see all your friends. Nice. So is that a waterfall behind us? It sure is. Um, this indoor waterfall leads downstairs to where a lot of our lab spaces are. Let's head downstairs and go check them out. So what's your favorite class that you've taken in this building? I think my favorite class has been Geotech 1. Um, behind us is actually where we did our lab for this class, and it had a lab section as well as lecture section. Really enjoyed it, got to um, learn more about soil and dirt, which sounds kind of boring, but was actually really cool. And I loved our professor. She was incredible. That sounds super cool. So what made you choose civil engineering? I chose civil engineering, specifically the construction concentration. I've all, because I've always loved the built environment, I think it's really cool how that industry is always changing, it's always growing. And it's just really cool to get to see some projects that you get to work on kind of take life and take shape as they're being built. And so I wanted to kind of be a part of that and I really enjoyed my experience. That's awesome. Thank you so much for giving me a tour of Hampton today. Of course, I love showing everyone my favorite building on campus. Boy, we're up. Hi, my name is Olivia Moon. I'm a freshman in first year engineering. Hi, I'm Issa Hollenstein and I'm a sophomore in biomedical engineering. We're going to be taking a tour of the biomedical engineering building today. Let's go! What's your favorite class in biomedical engineering? I really enjoy BME 256, which is my anatomy and physiology class. We actually have lecture in this room Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's a great class to learn about the human body. Why did you choose biomedical engineering? I chose biomedical engineering because it's a great way to combine the concepts of healthcare industry into engineering fields, so you can make cool devices, prosthetics, stuff like that. What's your favorite thing about the biomedical engineering building? I love all the study spots around the BME building. Like we're in one right now, and this one's kind of more of a private study spot, but there are also like open spaces for you to collaborate with classmates. What's something you want to highlight about biomedical engineering here at Purdue? So there are actually four different pathways that students could, can go down. Bioimaging, bioelectronics, computational biomedicine, and biomechanics. 
So each of the pathways offers unique courses that students can take. You actually pick a first and a secondary pathway to go down and just offers Purdue students a wide range of skills to learn. Thanks for taking me on a tour of the Biomedical Engineering Building. Anytime. Boiler up. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm a first year in electrical engineering. Hi, my name's Sophia, and I'm a sophomore in industrial engineering. And today we're going to be touring Grissom Hall, the industrial engineering building. Can you tell me a little bit about where we're standing right now? Yeah, this is the main part of Grissom Hall. This is a great spot to study and also where I have all of my advising appointments. So why did you choose industrial engineering? I chose industrial engineering just because of how versatile it is and also it will give me the opportunity to take classes from all different kinds of majors, which I really like to widen my scope of knowledge. Do you have a favorite IE class you've taken so far? Yeah, so my favorite IE class is probably IE 343, which is engineering economics. And I like it because it combines my interests of like problem solving and math with business concepts, which is something that I'm wanting to pursue in the future. Is there anything else you're involved in through IE outside of class? Yeah, so I'm actually a part of ISEE, which is the Institute of Industrial and System Engineers. They hold a lot of different social and professional development events. Um, one time we even had a cookout on the spirit patio. Hey, cool. Thank you so much for showing me around the industrial engineering building. Of course, anytime. Boiler up. Hey everyone, it's Mallory and I'm in FYE. My name is Becca and I'm in materials engineering. And today we're taking a tour of Armstrong. So Neil, do you think we should go inside? I think we should go inside. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So where are we? So we currently are standing in front of one of the labs associated with the Engineering Projects and Community Service Program, also known as EPICS, which is one of the first year engineering tracks um, that you can take here as a first year engineering student. Armstrong Hall is also home to lab spaces associated with materials engineering as well as the aerospace engineering program. That's awesome. So we're on the second floor now. Can you tell me a little bit about where we are? Yeah, so like I said before, Armstrong is home to a number of different lab spaces. So on the second floor is actually home to many labs for materials engineering. So what's your favorite lab that you've done? So I would say that one of my favorite labs that I've done was one of my junior labs. So in materials engineering, you take three different labs, one your sophomore year and two your junior year. My favorite lab was my materials processing lab I took junior year. Um, and that was when I got to apply a lot of the knowledge that I had learned in the past two labs and what everything I learned in lecture and did real materials engineering work for one of the first times, putting all everything together. That is so cool. Thanks. So where are we now? We are in the Materials Engineering Academic Success Center, which is one of the study spaces specifically dedicated to materials engineering students. So you can meet with other people to work on projects as well as work on homework uh, with other students. That's awesome. So how do you feel like your major has helped you be successful? Yeah, so my major definitely provides a lot of the resources needed to be successful. One example is actually in the corner over there. Um, they have tutoring for sophomore level math classes, as well as your sophomore introductory materials engineering courses, such as thermodynamics, statics, and crystallography. <laughs> so you said Armstrong is home to both aero and materials engineering. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. So materials engineering takes a lot up of the second floor, but the third floor has many different aerospace engineering labs and classrooms, as well as labs and classrooms in the basement. And I would say that aerospace engineering is probably one of the most popular and prominent engineering majors on campus. For sure. Thank you so much for giving me a tour of Armstrong today. Thank you so much for having me. I absolutely love this building. We hope to see you guys here next fall. Boiler up! Boiler up. Hi, I'm Ellie, and I'm a current freshman in FYE. I'm Zoe, and I'm a freshman in electrical engineering, and today we'll be showing you around one of the EC buildings. Let's go! So where are we right now? Right now we're standing in the atrium, which has study space open to people of any majors. Further behind me is an electrical and computer engineering study space that you have to scan into if you're an ECE major to study in. And this floor also houses the ECE advising office. I love how there's a Starbucks in this building. Yeah, it's super nice to get in between classes or while studying. With so many different, different types of engineering at Purdue, what made you choose electrical? 
I've always been really interested in math and science, so I wanted to do engineering in general. And I've always also been interested in circuits and breadboards and how all the wiring components work. So I thought electrical would be a really cool place for me to explore that. So we're both freshmen, but I'm in first year engineering and you're in electrical engineering. How did that happen? So I came in with a lot of AP and dual credits, and I was able to take a one semester first year engineering class that allowed me to transition into electrical engineering after just one semester instead of one full year. Are you involved in any student organizations that have to do with electrical engineering? Yeah, I'm a member of IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, and they have a bunch of different sections like a Grand Prix team and other parts of their organization, and I'm on a team that's working on a remote control car, and we're making the controller and the car completely from scratch. That is so cool. Thank you so much for taking me on a tour of the ECE building. Anytime. Hi, my name is Sophia and I'm a freshman in first year engineering. And my name is Athulia. I'm a senior in biological engineering and today I'll be taking you on a tour to the agricultural and biological engineering building. Let's go. Why did you choose biological engineering for your major? I actually didn't know that I wanted to go into biological engineering first, but through the Purdue's FYE program, I realized that biological engineering was something that I was more interested in than the other disciplines. What's the coolest part of this building? Yeah, yeah so, so on, on the top floor of this building, building actually, you get a bird's eye view of campus, so you can see everything from the bell tower to Memorial Mall to, to the engineering fountain also. Do you have a favorite class in biological engineering? Yes, my favorite class in bioengineering is ABE 304, which was our bioprocessing lab. Um, that was a really fun lab because we got to do a bunch of different work within the equipment center in this ABE building, and then we also got to learn more about viscosity and shear rate, so that was really cool. Can you tell me more about this room that we're in? Yes, so this is the makerspace. Um, this is where a lot of our senior design projects and other projects throughout the year are held in. Um, currently right now I'm using this room for our senior design project. So I'm working on creating a apple cider vinegar beverage and I'm measuring the CO2 levels right now. <laughs> Thanks for taking me on a tour of the ABE building. Yeah, of yeah, course. I had so much fun showing you around the building. Boiler, Boiler up. up. Hi, I'm Nina Overton. I'm a sophomore in chemical engineering. And today we're going to be touring the Forney Hall of Chemical Engineering. So let's go! <laughs> we're in the atrium right now. Nina, can you tell us anything more about it? Yeah, of course. So this is the chemical engineering atrium. As you can see, a lot of students are working here currently. It's a really collaborative space um, in chemical engineering. I know I've been at those tables a couple of times. This is also in the middle of a lot of our research labs in Forney. Um, a lot of students get involved in research. About 95% of students get involved in research, study abroad, internships, co-op. So really popular thing to do in Kemi. So who are all these people? So every single graduating class, the Kemi, we take a picture of them. So we all have a picture together. Um, this wall is really cool because it just shows how tied we are to our alumni program um, and also how close knit of a community Kemi is. I know for me, I'm really excited to get on this wall. My mom's on this wall too. So it's just a really cool bonding moment. Yeah, that's awesome. About how many people are in the program nowadays? So there's about 150 students per year in Kemi, which is a really great size. I know my high school is that size and I really loved how tight knit it was. And yeah. you feel that in the Kemi program. Oh, yeah. So as a chemical engineer, what are some ways that you can get more involved within this community? Well, there are a lot of chemical engineering organizations, over 10 at Purdue. Um, one of them is American Institute of Chemical Engineers. It's really great because you get to meet a lot of new alumni, get a network with companies, get a network with your fellow chemical engineers. I know I'm a part of Chemical Engineering Ambassadors, where I get to talk to students about why they should join Chemi. Um, there are a lot of different ways to get involved, and what's really great about Chemi is they really want people. So yeah. even just applying, you'll get in, and then you can become a part of our great community. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking us on this tour, Nina. Of course. Thanks for joining me at Forney, and we hope to see you guys all here next fall. Boiler up! <laughs> thanks for watching, and boiler up!